All right, so I'm logged into my one pager account. Uh, this is where I'm going to save all of my one pagers that uh, I end up um, receiving, uh, and that way I can find them all in one place. Um, and I don't even need an account to uh, uh, a subscription to collect all of these, right? So that's a nice uh, a nice feature. Next, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually create a one pager uh, real quick. All right, so create one pager. And go ahead and just plug in my info here. All right, for company and brand, and then also subdomain, I'm going to use the same information there. And then for the name of the one pager, that's going to be my title. And the description will um, let them know what this one pager is about. So not only will this text, you know, the name of the one pager and the description um, be on the one pager, it's actually going to show up on. Um, you know, social media in the preview, if you share it, that sort of thing. Um, but we can change this later in the page settings, so don't worry about it. Just get started. We can update it at any time. Also, if you could leave a comment about the spelling mistake in exercising, that'd be great. Much appreciated. And what we're going to do is go ahead and create the one pager now. All right, so just like that, I have a one pager set up. So with a title and a description, I'm actually gonna click on this. It's gonna bring me into the editor here. And you can see up top, I can choose from some preset themes here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one. I can change some font settings here. Uh, I can change the grid. And you'll notice this as we um, add in more uh, content down below. And what's nice is we've got this simple drag and drop. Uh, we can we can look at these sections. I have interactive sections and read-only sections, right? So not only can this be just something to read from and learn from for your you know, ideal customers that are you know digesting this lead magnet, but there's also the interactive part too, right? And that's what's really going to take this to the next level. Uh, it's not just a PDF uh, that they can download, never open. Um, you know, something that they need to print off and hire an IT guy to get their printer working. Um, it's much more simple than that. It's just save, right? It's, I can't get over it. This is amazing. So what we can do, sorry, we can go into the explainer here. Um, so this is going to actually pop open a, a, a modal. So uh, if I click, if I type in here, learn more, go ahead and click that. You see this modal. And, and that explainer is uh, where we can customize that modal. We can always get rid of it by removing the text there. We can have a cover, cover image or a video. So I'll go ahead and grab one. Um, all right, let me just type in some fitness here for Unsplash, perfect. And there we go, box water is better, as you can see here. But we can also choose to put our own video here, which is gonna be handy. Um, you know, as we walk them through this, this lead magnet, or maybe it's a checklist, a framework, a worksheet, right? Image or video up here if we want. Next, we can go ahead and add the author. So, all right, it's going to pop up here. We can just add a description there. Cool. So what I like about this is mobile order. And this is really neat. You're going to see why. Let me go ahead and add an image here. All right. And if I want. I can actually go ahead and let me do a task list, task list to do list here. All right. Great. So now if I come up here into mobile order, we're actually going to see I can change the order they show up on their phone, right? So that's going to allow us to put the important information first in that mobile view. And mobile is everything. Uh, so that's very key here. Next, we've got SEO, right? So when you're sharing this on social media or looking at this through Google, right? You can see the title and the description here. So that's what it will look like in a Google search. Now, if we add an image, right? This is what it's going to look like if we're sharing it on social media. So you can get a nice good preview here of what your page is gonna look like when you share your one pager URL. And what's nice about that URL, I'm going to tell you right now, is that if you put that URL inside your emails or, you know, in that social media post, right, 
and let's say you need to make a change to this file right like this lead magnet it's not like it's a pdf right so you don't have to go track down your emails uh you know look through a year of social media posts to find a url to update the url or go to your hosting you know whether it's dropbox or whatever you're hosting that pdf no you come into your web pager account you edit this thing all right and then it's done so the next person that opens it or reopens it, those changes are live because they are using the same URL and it's, it's just awesome. So you won't need to have a spreadsheet of what assets you uploaded, when and where. It's just come edit your one pager and update it for your, you know, your ideal customers, your members, your clients. Maybe it's for your clients you create these lead magnets for. And there's a spelling mistake. Boom, come in, edit it. It's done. Just so powerful. All right, I digress. So now that we know what the preview is going to look like, we can actually come in here and start editing this thing. All right, so the first thing you should do before you work out, and remember this lead magnet is just an example for, again, a fitness coach, uh, you know, gym, gym owner uh, who's, who's trying to collect those emails of someone who wants to get started working out, right? So Ultimately, we're going to get their email and we're going to send them this document. So I'm going to search for stretching because we need to stretch. All right, that's key. Mistake. All right. Stretching. And this is just going to be kind of rough. Um, I'm not making this for my business. So add a task. Oh, let me, let me rename that here. Add a task, so stretch. Okay. So next what we're going to do, I'm trying to remember now. I can't remember, but I know what the third one's going to be. And the third one is going to be, don't lift your maximum weight as much as you can. And the reason why, is because you will hurt and you will hurt yourself which reminds me don't hurt yourself make sure you know the technique or have someone guide you right that could also mean a spotter <laughs> um, if you're bench pressing that sort of thing squatting heavy weights so these are very three important things, right? So stretch, you know what? I almost feel like I should say stretch and hydrate, but that's kind of cheating because, you know, you can't drink and stretch at the same time. So um, that's it. So I've just created this checklist. I'm not a designer. I'm not a programmer. I i don't, you know, work at a at a printing shop. I'm just I'm just trying to create this content so I can get it out quickly and easily to those who need it. Right? Um, you can see this is very bare bones here, but with all of these these rows and columns, I can I can really do anything um, I put my mind to. Right? So, right? Whether we want to focus on cardio, whether we want to focus on strength, right? So, you know, customize this as you need. Man, I love this. Just so easy to, to edit. Um, again, so since I'm not a designer, you can see here, it, it's just uh, just kind of rough here. But God, I love this. You could just come in here, throw in an image. Oops. Learn how to spell. Water. I want a water bottle. not boxed so there it is all right well this guy's boxing but you wouldn't box without a couch either right so awesome I'm just gonna save this real quick 
come back out. And this is my link, my URL to my one pager, my lead magnet. So I'm actually going to go ahead and open that up in a new tab. And you can see right here exactly what we had before. We don't have any of those columns. And of course, uh, you know, you would emphasize the um, importance of these, right? As you're providing that value to your lead, right? So again, yours are, may not be uh, fitness related, but you can see here the tool and how it gives you the power to then educate, inform without overwhelming and confusing them, right? So now you can go ahead and place a URL here. Um, you know, maybe it goes to a form where they can sign up for a free session, tell you what they want to focus on. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. So, all right, if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, if you want to get started, uh, check the description or the comments. I'll leave something down there. Um, and uh, again, I'd be happy to help out if you need anything else.